So, have you been finding year 12? Is it a little bit of a shock to the system? Or are you coping okay with it? Because I know in my experience, um, people find it a little bit of a shock. And if you're feeling that way, that's absolutely fine. Um, I imagine the lesson's going a bit faster. Um, and, you know, with the different size of the lesson, maybe there's only like 10 people in your lesson compared to you used to being in the year normal of person that sat at the back and the teacher didn't really notice you. Well, the teacher's going to notice you if there's only 10, 5 people in the lesson. Um, so, yeah, how are things going? I know it's gonna be it's gonna be hard, but um, in this video, I'm gonna talk to you about things I've got coming up. So I've got a free online course for A Level Chemistry, um, free revision guide for A Level Chemistry, and I'm gonna talk to you about the other subjects and stuff that you can do over half term to make your life mm, a little bit easier. So it may seem like I haven't been doing very much. I haven't been posting very many videos, um, but that's because I've been trying to build a website which is a lot harder than it actually sounds i mean i'm a science teacher not a web developer i literally have no idea what i'm doing um but i think i'm nearly there so i will be soon launching a free course um for a level chemistry um to help you out the free revision guide for is already up um it's up for aqa but i'm quickly remapping it to all the other specifications i will do a much longer video um explaining that when it's ready Fingers crossed I'll have it finished, finished working as a right HTML by next weekend. Um, fingers crossed. Anyway, lots of you aren't doing A-level chemistry. I will be trying to copy everything I've done for A-level chemistry, for A-level biology, but that's a little bit behind. The exciting thing that I know you're all going to be excited about is A-level maths. Um, I have another brilliant teacher working with me who's done all the GCSE maths videos and is now started on kind of like the workbook, online multiple choice questions, um, and videos for A-level maths, and he is working at such a fantastic rate, we should have all the videos for A-level maths, and the online course, um, and the workbooks, and the revision guide finished in about six months, so that would be kind of like, um, all the examples for A-level maths, and the level two qualification, or the GCSE in further maths as well, so, lots and lots of things coming up for you soon basically and i know it's really frustrating that it's not quite ready yet but i promise you i'm working exceptionally hard to get it done for you as soon as i can um now kind of like general advice so you're in year 12 now and i bet there have been a few lessons where you've been sitting in the back of the lesson going I have no idea what is going on here. I've got no idea what that teacher is saying. And you've kind of like copied everything down from the board and you've worked with the person next to you to try and answer the questions and you've basically left the lesson going, I really, really didn't understand that. Don't worry, that is a perfectly normal way to feel. And I want to try and help you get over that. So for maths and chemistry and eventually biology, you'll just be able to come and watch my videos and do my practice questions and um, hopefully fill in those gaps. But if it's something like English or history, I can't help you with it, or it's a topic I haven't done yet, then there are lots of other things that you need or you can do. And a half time break is a perfect time to do it. So I just want to take a step backwards for a second and think about your revision for your GCSEs and maybe there was a topic at the beginning of year 9 that you didn't really understand or you missed for a lesson and then you had to teach it to yourself while also trying to revise everything else Easter of year um, 11. We want to avoid doing that. So anything in this first half term that you didn't understand or any lessons that you missed or maybe you switched courses or switched schools and you're kind of like maybe two, three weeks you missed this is the time to catch it up. It is really, really important that we do not um, miss anything out, or you don't, um, or you don't skip anything because your A levels will, your A level exams will cover everything. Um, we know everything's going to come up in the exams, so it really, really is worth trying to fill in those gaps now. Now, if you're in a brilliant situation where you don't have any of those gaps, then spend time going over everything that you've done. Now, it doesn't have to be a lot of time, but say you're doing three subjects, um, you've probably covered quite a lot of content by now, so maybe like half day per subject. 
Now this may seem like quite a lot, especially if you're going away for half term or you're working for half term, um, but that could be kind of like you know, an hour per subject a day or half an hour per subject per day. The more you do now, the less stressed you'll be when it comes to your end of year exams and the less stressed you'll be when it comes to your, your April um, of year 13. Because if you take something like um, the really, really complicated questions to do with math spec um, or some of the really, really complicated stuff, the, the maths and maybe what other subject you're doing, if we can turn it into kind of like something you can do well once you've practiced, if we can take that into something you can do really well because you know how to do it, we are changing the kind of like the where that that skill is stored. So if we take an example like um, tying your shoelaces, you know how to tie your shoelaces because you've done it lots. And compare it to an example of maybe some of you are trying to learn to drive. Now the first time you do it, it's tricky and it's hard. What I want is for your A-level exams to be the equivalent of learning to tie your shoelaces because you've practiced it lots as opposed to taking your driving test because that's a little bit scary. So the more you practice stuff, the earlier you practice stuff, the less stressed you'll be by the time you get around to your um, A-level exams. So I'm not saying you have to spend the whole half term revising, I'm saying do a little bit now because the little bit you do now will pay off 10, 20, 100 fold by the time you get to year 13. I mean, it is very, very important that you go to the cinema and go shopping and go out with your friends the whole time, but please just try and get a little bit done now. Even if it's just, you know, um, looking at all the equations that I've got for you and making flashcards of the equations so that you learn them, so that when you come across them in class, you've got that there and ready and sorted. Or whether it's kind of like um, looking at what's coming up next in your course and like watching the video which is going to come up next so that the lesson is a little bit easier so you don't get that feeling of kind of like rabbit in the headlights I don't know what's going on here if you've watched the video for it already then it'll make your life a bit easier um so year 12 that's what I've got for you just like your GCSEs I'm going to be here with you every single step of the way if you're doing maths um, chemistry or biology by the time you get around to year 13 I will have so much content for you it will be slightly unbelievable ouch this is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches